season with SusanAnyway.com. And today's video is a little bit different, but hopefully still helpful. My mom recently built an attachment to my sister and her husband's house in North Carolina. And it turned out really cool. Um, I think they did a great job and I thought it might be helpful for you if you're considering um, having a loved one move in with you, but you still want that person to have independence, um, I feel like they struck a really good balance in that. And so we're going to take you on a tour of the house and a tour of how it changed their backyard. And I hope this helpful. Okay, so say your name. Samantha Holland Hawk. <laughs> and what's your name? I am Pat Bryant, okay. uh, parentheses Majo. Let's say, Mom, why don't you tell the story of how you ended up deciding to build a when granny did flat? This. So uh, after my husband passed away, I moved to Polly's Island. South Carolina and lived there for five years and as my friends were getting older I realized that they were having to move closer to their children and having to take care children were having to take care of them so I got to thinking about okay I have four children which one would I wind up think? moving <laughs> <laughs> maybe not that that because I don't think I've ever had favorites but it's like rock paper <laughs> I decided that it would be Samantha. They won. And I told them, I said, this was about 75, when I was 75. And I said, when I'm about five years older, I'm going to move up to Wilmington and live close to y'all because you've won the lottery and you get to take care of me in my old age and you love it. Mm -hmm. No, actually, they uh, came back in a couple of weeks and said, no, don't wait. Said, come on and move up now while you're healthy, while you're feeling good. While you're fun. <laughs> while you're fun while I'm fun because I can still do things and uh so I got a thinking about it it's like okay well let's let's start uh thinking about what we're gonna do and uh it just sort of all evolved from there because yeah. I started looking on Pinterest and uh to see you know plans for it and uh, it was just a, it was sort of a lot of fun, and I thought it would be hard moving away from friends, but it, it I'm good with it. I really like it. So, yeah. Sam, how did y'all decide to do this to your existing house instead of, I guess, what were the options you walked through? We looked at a lot of, initially we wanted to do a separate structure further in the backyard, but because of the size of our lot, the city said you cannot, you have to share the same roof line and not even like a covered walkway connecting, like it has to be the same structure. So we looked at expanding our bedroom and having mom there and putting our master suite upstairs. That's right. But that was going to be very expensive. Okay. Um, like another, it was really expensive. So this was just the best case scenario, and so it's what we did. We lost a bedroom window. That was the, only, but that, I feel like that's really the only sacrifice that we made. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just feels like a natural extension of the house. And then when you look in the backyard now, the way we expanded the deck, it created this natural courtyard, which we've made into a fire pit, and so it really enhanced our backyard. I feel like right. And we had actually gone and looked at several houses also, thinking that, okay, we'll see if there's something that doesn't have a mother-in-law suite type thing that we could make it into it. But everyone that was on the market at that time was just, you were going to have to do so much construction to make something feasible. And invariably it wound up where I would take the master bedroom and Samantha and Trevor would have to take something smaller, you mm -hmm. know, within the house uh, plans of it. Mm. And that that wasn't a good plan option for any of us. So that was another factor for like, okay, what else can we do? And they love their neighborhood because it, it right. really is. It's a great neighborhood to be Didn't in. Move. They would not have 
chosen to move except they would have moved for for me right you know and right. this option makes it where no one has to and it just turned out to be the best so talk about the layout of what you have sam said like it's it's a they're the entrance you have a completely separate entrance from them i am that's what i wanted was because they i'm sorry i didn't want in their drama in their house and they needed to have their time alone with mm -hmm. that like when the kids go to bed they don't need mama in law still sitting there listening to all of their family discussions they mm -hmm. need that time and the children need that so uh I said, I want it to be completely separate. I don't want to have to walk through your house to get to my house. So that was the reason for having, I've actually got the French doors onto the deck and then I've got a, uh, another door on the other side so that I can go out to my car actually from that way. And it just, it just makes it easier so that I live my own life. Yeah. Now, I do know all of the Marvel movies now. And I know <laughs> all of that. You've been immersed. So I have definitely. So, it, it has been a joy. Uh, when I moved in, they were 9, 11, and 14. And now then, uh, it's been, what, no. a year? Yeah. No, that's right. No, that's right. it was only yeah. in 2020. You're right. When I actually, it took us eight months to get it completed. Okay. Uh, there were a lot of permit issues just mm. because of the city uh, that was, you know, yeah. all of it was met, but that sort of, that took rather right. a long time. You officially moved in in December of 2019. Well. But we, didn't really live here until that January. Right. right. The, it, it was completed right the week before Christmas mm. of 2019, and then I officially moved in in uh, 2020, January. Okay okay so uh but yeah it's it's been a lot of fun because uh in the afternoons if i see two grandchildren coming over here with their soft blankets around them <laughs> and it's like okay i know we're watching a movie somehow <laughs> and samantha says well they've used up all their electronic time at my house so they decide they'll come to your house <laughs> and uh, uh maddie who is older uh she and i have a show that we like to watch together that's older, that's not age appropriate for the younger one. Right. So she comes over at evenings after the kid, little ones have gone to bed. So that's, it's just fun. And, and it's also been a nice way to talk to them as far as like, sometimes we're watching whatever we're watching and I'll just stop it and say, okay, what do you think about that? You know, and that's been a lot of fun to 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 see what their brains are mm -hmm. and see where they're coming from and it's been a joy and smith and trevor have both just been great about it they've just uh they put up with me and and i told trevor i said i know i'm just gonna get on your nerves about stuff so i said <laughs> please just laugh at me and tell me you quit you know because i can handle that because i know that that that's true because i always as my husband said, if a uh, brain surgeon had a question that he could call me because I'd have an opinion. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so sorry. yes, I always have an opinion about everything. But if, if I'm joking, if someone teases me about it, then I, I back off and I understand that I right. overstep my boundaries. Right. And I will tend to do that occasionally. So I try to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Okay, so walk us through like what you actually have as far as your, what is your living area? I have 600 square feet, which is just perfect. I started watching all of these tiny house programs that mm -hmm. were on television and I couldn't imagine going any smaller than I am. And <clears throat> originally my bedroom was, so I've got my own separate bedroom. I've got a uh, living room kitchen and I've even got a dining table in here in this big living area and it's large and then I bought a electric fireplace because I wanted a fireplace and I wanted to use it all year long mm -hmm. because I love the ambiance right. of the fireplace so that's what I did I just and uh, had that put in here and it just it just makes it cozy and then I've got my own bathroom with a 
stacking washer and dryer. So I am completely independent of their home, mm -hmm. which really does. I mean, and the way the house sits on the lot, I don't see their house at all. So it's that's been really nice to be able to do that. And really, when they look out from their house, they don't really see my house. Right, that it's much. not like y'all are staring at each other through yeah. the windows. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and and with the L shape of the deck, it just makes it really nice to mm -hmm. for that. And with me, I wanted all of the windows because uh, I love a lot of light. Mm -hmm. So I don't have draperies because I didn't want any draperies and. There's nothing exciting going on in this house that I mind if somebody sees, right. you know, so, but I love looking out at the birds and so that's been a joy. Yeah. And, and it's nice. There's no houses behind us. Yeah. That is nice. So that's been, that's been fun. So is there anything you would do and both of you, anything you would do differently now that you're kind of on the other side of building anything that you that you wish you had done or that you wish you hadn't done or do you feel pretty good about how it all ended? I don't think, I don't think so. Okay. I think I'd like, I didn't know, I mean, I've said it before, but I didn't know how the way we extended on one side of the house, the way it would kind of create the courtyard in the backyard. And our backyard before was just, a blank slate it was mm -hmm. a lot and it felt overwhelming to try to make sort of like living spaces and yeah so the way this house this extension just it made the backyard just great I love it yeah. so I don't know that I, I, I don't really ever think about oh I would have done this differently I wish we had done something is there anything you think of yeah what about you no I really um not really. I wish the HOA wasn't, uh, <laughs> yeah. didn't tell me they, they don't like where my car is parked uh, for some reason. But uh, other than that, really and truly, it, it just, it suits me. I love light. And this is the first house that I've really had enough. I don't turn on any blank yeah. lamps or any lights during the day yeah. because it's just, and it makes me happy. Mm -hmm. So I there really isn't anything that... Uh, that I would do because it's been fun. Uh, Trevor said that he didn't realize that he was uh, getting a mother-in-law plus a gardener. <laughs> and so that's what I like to do. And I have added all sorts of plants and everything. Mm -hmm. I, I made the yard where I enjoy uh, being here at the, so that's, and that's been nice because they're in a stage of their life. They don't have time for that. Right. You know, there's, it's like watering. No, I don't, I can't go water right now and so that's that's been fun and a delight for me so yeah. I've enjoyed that so you know there's really the <laughs> yeah that's a yeah, bonus like that, that you didn't yeah. think no one's sad that mom's yeah. gardening yeah. yeah yeah well and then the fire pit just worked out really nice to have that because that just sets in it and the yard's large enough now that it still has plenty of playroom right mm -hmm. for for the kids it's that's the nice thing about their lot. It didn't take away to make their lot so tiny. Right, right. right. yeah. Right. We still have a big yard. There was room. It didn't, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah, so this this really turned out to be the ideal place. And it's been fun because so many people have come to look at it because it's like, wow. And and they, it's like, yeah, I could live here. Yeah. So that's that's been a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. to, and... Uh, I've adopted Samantha and Trevor's friends, and they've been kind enough to basically adopt me. So I'm the mother and grandmother to a lot more people. Now. <laughs> <laughs> That's been sort of fun. Yeah. yeah. So I am Majo to the to, Majo to a lot of people. To a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> That's been fun. Um, talk about downsizing. Was it a tremendous amount of downsizing? I mean, it's <laughs> only 600 square feet. So what was that like? That was the probably the hardest part. Um, but so we had moved after my after my husband passed away. We were living in Georgetown, South Carolina, and I downsized then to move uh, to Polly's, and that was hard. But I still had a whole garage and and had lots of closets and everything where I could. So to downsize here. Was quite, I think the hardest thing that I've had is is the 
old al photo albums. I mean, really mm -hmm. and truly, that's because there's no place to put stuff. Right. And uh, so I did try to take pictures of all the, and I just haven't spent the money to have someone digitize it or something for me. And right. that's probably what I should do. But, um, so I have a whole new respect for, I can, I don't need anything now. Mm -hmm. You know, it's been very hard, mm -hmm. but I also don't buy something that it's like, my first thought is where would I put that? Right, yeah. So there's, there's not a, there's not a lot of stuff around. A lot of people couldn't do that. I do get sentimentally attached to things, but nothing, I think more, it was the photos and it, it's the memories. Right. But then I've still got those memories. Right. But, uh, so I guess that really, and, and I've made, I've made, I've done things to make it where things that are important I can keep. Just like I've got a filing, small filing cabinet that I put in my closet. The only thing that I wish that I had was maybe a walk-in closet mm -hmm. because the closet is so, so the yeah, the, well the closet's just so small that i can't reach some things that you know because it's got the sliding doors so there's things that are deep to one way back. Yeah, yeah that are really hard to reach uh so i guess that would be my only and man that's nothing right you know when you in the big picture of things no that's i don't everything's fine yeah because you find that you don't need it right you don't really so and i'm not a, not a hoarder no well you couldn't be no <laughs> you could not be a hoarder. i mean you could but you'd be miserable I yeah don't know how you yeah. would do it exactly no so it's been great That's i was helpful. look on pinterest uh for all of the tiny homes and the floor plans but it's so popular now that there was a lot to look at and I knew what I wanted, and I did use uh, Liz as a Liz Carpenter Who? as a design. What's her Liz name? Carpenter. <laughs> Did Liz Carpenter is yours. Yeah, I've heard of her. <laughs> so she was great. She was so easy to work with, uh -huh. and helped with colors. And so with me, and I was basically, and I'd forgotten this. I was basically homeless for like nine yes. months uh, because my house so. Sold within within 24 hours i really hadn't even put it on the market it yet so it sold it and then <laughs> i had nowhere to go no. so what? that's on you because you priced it too low no that's i hard. did not it was <laughs> it was right it was perfect for that anyway so i uh it's like what am i gonna do so it turned out that it was beautiful because I visited kids. Yeah, uh, you took all, a road with trip. With four children. I was on the road. I forgot. I put like 20,000 miles on my car. Uh, and it was so full of stuff. Because you had to live. Out of your car. Out of your car. Oh, that's true. I did. Yes. You had a lot. I did. I mean, it was, I mean, it wasn't like crazy, but I'm just no, saying. No, it like, wasn't like a homeless person have. that you got to do, but you got to have, because, you know, you. <laughs> <laughs> I would go there. <laughs> It worked out perfect because there was a wedding in Chattanooga that I went to. That's right. And I took a lot longer. I came up to Spartanburg and spent time with y'all. And then that was when I did a Viking cruise in That's uh, right. August. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I went to Jacksonville and I went to Annapolis for those children. So it, it went by pretty fast. And then I would come here. So the point to all of that is that I, because I had Liz and I had uh, Jason, the builder, they were sharp enough and that I didn't really need to, to I didn't like need hands to, on. Yeah. yeah. And I'm not the kind of person I told, Liz, I said, you take it and you send, send me stuff. Mm -hmm. I came here so that we could pick out the backsplash and picked out the, the chairs mm -hmm. And uh, I think that was, that was really all. So when I wanted to do, I wanted to do a reveal when they put all the furniture in. Uh, Liz and Melissa, the young lady that was helping her, said, "Don't you want to? You want to come see if you wanted to?" And I said, "No, no, I want to wait." I said, "I want like to wait." Like HGTV. Yes, yeah. right here. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm waiting and I want to see. Y'all put it together and I'll come over and look at. It. And yeah. they did a fantastic job. It was so much fun to walk in and 
and see this bright, uh, pretty place to live. So we used a little bit of my furniture mm -hmm. that I had and then uh, used, bought a few things, but mm -hmm. didn't really buy just, but there's not a whole lot of space, so you didn't have right. to buy much. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Would you use a designer again? Do you think that was helpful? It was very helpful considering that I was not uh, here. Yeah. But also, I don't, I could give her an idea and she could work with it from mm -hmm. there. And I didn't have, I'm not good at putting colors together. I, don't, I would not have put this together as well as Liz right. did. Yeah. So I appreciate that. And then there's little things on the floor plan. I gave her an idea of what I wanted on the floor plan and then she said, okay. Uh, Cause at one time the back door was gonna be in a different place and, and we talked about it and worked it out. It's like, no, we need to move that because it was basically gonna be where the window is right now. And so I was gonna lose a lot of wall space and mm -hmm. I wasn't gonna be able to put my fireplace there. So, and they had actually already roughed in the window there. So they had to come back and move, move swap the right. window the and openings. the door yep. so that I could, could put the fireplace there because it wouldn't have been enough space. Right. So, uh, so no, I would, I would definitely go with a designer mm -hmm. again, particularly with the way it was because I'm not real good with that kind of stuff and she was great. Right. And she listened to everything that I wanted. Right. Yeah. Uh, so it no. It was a good experience. Yes, it was a great experience. That's good. So Liz Carpenter and Terry. <laughs> right here in Wilton. <laughs>
and just say hey. You so you'd have to build a wheelchair ramp if you needed that. You would, but I thought uh, on the other side uh, that that could be done. Oh, uh, you would do it on the front if you Probably, had to do it? Yeah. All right, so let's talk about your roses. Well, they're just knockout roses. Well, they're beautiful. I uh, put all of, well, everything that's here, I put in. azalea bushes and the rest are the everbloom what do they call the azaleas encore encore they call them heresy that's what they call them. no they don't uh <laughs> she doesn't like, like them she doesn't like them azaleas bloom in spring that's when they bloom that's a silly thing <laughs> to think i know even miss kendrick and yeah she... <laughs> right right that's just something that does, you don't need to be rigid about we can have freedom to have all the flowers bloom whenever they want Look at this. This is pretty. Yeah. Oh, talk about your rain barrel. Oh, so I um, had ra had a rain barrel in Georgetown and uh -huh. decided here because I knew that I was going to be watering a lot of uh, times because I was going to plant a lot of stuff. Yeah. So that's it, when I lived in Polly's, I was on a well for the uh, sprinkler system mm -hmm. irrigation, but here they're not. So that's going to get pricey during the summertime. Right. Yeah. So that was the reason I put in the rain barrels, and I do use them, and I've enjoyed using them, and they'll they'll water quite a bit. That's awesome. So that's that's been helpful. Is this begonias? I didn't. Those Impatience. are impatient. I love. I know. I love the little <laughs> scallop <laughs> edge. So fun. And when they fill so out, cute. they're really pretty. Yeah. It just it's just a big full thing. Yes. That's uh, a good idea. And then that was a fire pit that uh, now then they don't away. use. <laughs> I know, but I said, well, I'm going to spray paint it black and then put uh, planters on it. So that's helped. Okay. All right. Let's look at your fire pit in uh, the wait, front wait. entrance. Wait. Oh, uh, mom, talk about these. Oh, so those I had had for a long time. Uh, I actually had them when we originally lived in Birmingham uh -huh. and had them uh, there. Then I've put them up everywhere that I've lived. And I just, I don't know, I like the, the old, they're just a different age, right. different decade. And it makes me think about heritage and where we come from and uh, how old things are. So I wanted to use them here. I've always used them on the inside. And it's like, where can I put them? Raya. So finally, I said, well, I'm going to just put varnish on them and stick them out on the fence. So that's what I've done. Pretty. All right. So, Sam, you were talking about how this created kind of a courtyard. Mm -hmm. So where can you talk about, like, here, let me stand where I'm kind of seeing you a little bit. Oh, seeing me. Yeah. Well, just the side of you. So, uh -huh. like, originally, what did it look like before? So, there was a tiny little deck that ends right where Mom was. You can see that the wood hasn't okay. quite aged, you know, the same yet. Right. That it'll even out. Um, so, that was just it. Just one little tiny deck. And then all of this was just open grass. Okay. It was too much. Okay. And we didn't know what to do with it. So, this, so this is... This is the new addition. Okay. Which, and when they were asking about where to put the stairs, they were going to put the stairs off that way. Uh -huh. And they said, that they, does she want them coming off the end that way or off the end this way? And I was like, well, what if we have them coming right off of her door? Right. And that way, those sets of stairs lead to this one area. So I was really glad we did that. And what did you do here in your uh, fire pit area? Well, this was just nothing, and we um, uh, put in metal edging to mm -hmm. shape it out and dug out all of the sod and put a weed barrier down and then put in pea gravel and then some flagstones to make it. And we path. had originally thought that we would use uh, pavers and uh -huh. do uh, a fancy thing, have someone come in and do it, and it was just going to cost way too much money. So expensive. Yeah, so then looked on Pinterest again and started looking at stuff and well we had vacation uh that's right we the LJ, yes, yes. It, uh, they had a fire pit where they had done it like this and 
it looked really nice. Okay. So this is a more casual look anyway. I mean, I think when we thought about it, we were like, the hardscaping, the, right. you know, it doesn't, it wouldn't fit the look we were going much for. much more fun. Right, yeah. And this is, it was something that was very affordable and it was just fun because the entire family did it. Yeah. It wasn't just uh, yeah. someone else. And so I think they appreciate it more yeah. because of that. Because everybody put a little sweat equity yeah. into it. Yeah. It's scary being oh, alone. Okay. It feels safer to have yes, somebody with you. Ugh. All right. All right. Hold on. Aunt Susan's got to sit. Okay. What's your name? Chloe. Chloe. Chloe, how old are you? Ten. Okay. Chloe, how did you feel when you found out that Majo was going to come live where she lives now in the same house? Kind of in the same house. Next yeah. to you. Next to you, yeah. Like we should have a party. Yeah? Were you excited? What's the best thing about having Majo next to you? You get to spend time with her. Uh-huh. What do you like doing with her? Spending time with her. But what, when we spend when you, time yeah, together, what do, you do together? what do we do? Talk. We talk. Talk, yep. What um, else do we do? Watch movies. <laughs> <laughs> what was the last movie we watched? Do you remember what the name of it was? Code of Many Colors. Code of Many Colors. Was it good? Yes. Okay. Good. All right. Anything else you want to say about Majo? That she's the best. She's the best? <laughs> good. All right. You're done. Thank you, ma'am. Am I going to sit in Majo's lap also? Yes. Oh, gosh, no. <laughs> session with the psychiatrist. Yeah. Like... <laughs> so, <laughs> Trevor, how are you feeling now? <laughs> I really think it'd be better if I leave. No, you're fine. All right, so Trevor, talk mm -hmm. about, um, we talked a little bit about figuring out, like, how y'all came to the decision that this would be, no, he can come in, it's okay, that this would be the best way to mm -hmm. do having Majo nearby. How did you decide, and what was, what was hard, what was good, can you kind of talk through it from your point of view? Um, Majo has always said she wanted, or not always, but said she eventually want to move up here, and so... When it was kind of time for her to come up here, we looked for houses and um, for her and everything was just kind of like, oh, it's too expensive. Then we looked at, you know, us combining, you know, our mortgages and buying a place and that wasn't really an option either. So the best option was to just build an attachment. So mm -hmm. um, as far as the hardest part about it was just the construction, but it really wasn't bad. Okay. So yeah, mm -hmm. there you go. <laughs> How do you feel about having your mother-in-law? Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> if she wasn't here, I'd be brutally. That's right. So I'm sugarcoating it right now. Yeah, yeah. So, you being kind. Yeah, being and he knows other kind. people will see it. Yeah, so, so especially her. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, it's fine. Uh -huh. I mean, it's, you know, it's with, uh, as with the living with anyone, there are ups and Right. Downs, so, yeah. But she's good. She's got her own space. So if things are rough. Mm -hmm. she can leave yeah she can hang out yeah but it's a help too so yeah 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 what are what are what are positive things that you've seen for you and for your family mm -hmm. just having somebody here to help out mm -hmm. is a good thing yeah uh also to bounce ideas off with so yeah it's good that's true that's good and she takes trips with y'all too she does <laughs> she pays for a tank of gas she does. <laughs> so, yeah. no it's good good so. that's good all right. That's All right. What's your name? Ford. Yes. Ford, how old are you? I am 11. Ford, how did you feel when you found out that Majo was going to live next to you in your backyard? I was excited, but I don't think I was excited as I was when she actually moved yeah. in. Because every day we go over and watch a movie with her, and I get to see my grandma every day. But I'm really sad because she moved from Polly's Island, and that means... We can't get any more <laughs> monster cookies from Polly's Island Bakery. <laughs> Do you think y'all should have moved to Polly's instead? No. No. But it's just sad yeah. to not have the cookies. Yeah, they, they rock the monster cookies. <laughs> they made them smaller for some reason. They did. So now it's like half a cookie. They, they definitely made That's them. That's right. They're not monster cookies really anymore. <laughs> They're baby monsters. Yes. All right, so Ford... Um, What's the best part about having Majo here? 
get to hang out with my grandma mm-hmm. like every day. Mm-hmm. Are there any downsides to having Majo right here? Um. Well, we used to do not like we used to have like sometimes we would play soccer or baseball like, uh, right here. And you lost your soccer field. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. Yeah, that's honest. Yeah, that's good. Um, do you like the fire pit that y'all put in? Yes, I really like that. That's really good. That's good. Okay. Any other thoughts? Anything else? No. Okay. What happened to your house when, when, um, they did the... I got a bathroom right next to my room and then we closed up a doorway in the kitchen. Uh Uh-huh. And is that good? Do you like having your own bathroom? Because usually I'd have to walk all in, like, in the middle of the night. I don't have to walk all the way. Across the house. Mm -hmm. Because... At um, our old house and this house, my room is like as far away from everybody else as like po- as as possible. That's true. <laughs> so. so now you have your own bathroom. Yes. That's good. All right. Thanks Thank for to each you other. Touch me. <laughs> Don't touch me. All right. What's your name? Maddie. Maddie. How old are you, Maddie? Fifteen. Fifteen. So. As a fifteen-year-old, how has it been to have your grandmother living? in your backyard it's pretty great yeah yeah why why is it pretty great um because when my family's being annoying i can leave yeah you have another place to go oh, yeah. does she get annoying mm. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes well i guess we all kind of yeah. get annoying sometimes yeah okay but then you can still leave me too yeah <laughs> that's true i don't know where she goes after yeah. that yeah <laughs> Like if, if everybody's annoying, it's like, oh, goodness. So, Maddie, what was it like when they were doing the construction? Was it hard it was or? Weird. Why? Because there was always a ton of people in our house. And mm. then, like, we couldn't be at our house all the time. So, yeah. we just have to leave. Go spend the night in a hotel. Right. Oh, that's when they were redoing the floors. Yeah. Of course, that wasn't so bad. Uh, I like the hotel. Yeah. We do that again. <laughs> I don't know. How has this changed? The way that you live for good for bad is it how's it different i guess i don't know (laughs) it's kind of the same but there's an extra person yeah yeah she doesn't ever know who's picking her up from school that's right (laughs) all right okay that's good